Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and this is the left hip hike progression. So this one's really good for turning on your right glute and really inhibiting the right inner thigh if you do it correctly. It's also gonna teach you how to load this left hip, which I'm gonna show you right now. So progression number one here, you're gonna use the chair to help you balance. You're gonna get a really good left stance, like very athletic stance on this left side. And then you're gonna teach the right leg how to come away from that left leg. I'm gonna show you uh, from the side later, but we're gonna start facing you for now, just so you can see it a little better. So you're gonna get some sort of step or block, uh, a couple plates if you're in the gym, works super well. Uh, and you're gonna put your left foot on that. The right foot stays on the ground, kind of in a normal standing spot for now. So first thing we do is put some weight on that left foot. Second thing we do is hike up, exhale, and hike up the left hip. And then we can exhale and slouch down the left shoulder. This should kick on your left outer hip muscle. You should feel that and maybe even some quad supporting you. If you don't feel the quad yet, uh, this last step will give it to you. So <laughs> turn your zipper to the left so that it's over the inside of your knee here. If it goes outside the knee or if your shoulders go outside the knee, you've gone too far. That's where people normally mess this one up. Um, so we're gonna do all that again because you're gonna need that setup for both of these first two progressions. Um, left foot, left hip hike, left shoulder slouch, and then left hip turn. So once you figure out how to do all this, this just becomes stand on your left leg, okay? And you wanna kinda of consolidate all the steps down into that so you're not thinking about each individual piece every time you have to do it. Uh, from there, once we get that stand on your left leg thing down, we're going to take the right foot and we're gonna reach it out away from the body and you're gonna reach through the inside of the right foot so the outside of the right foot is up off the ground, okay? That's the entire setup. Now, progression number one is gonna be standing supported with some sort of, a counter works really well here. Um, you could set up a bar and a rack if you're in the gym, uh, but I got this chair, which is a really good height. You can get something a little higher, uh, but it gets really easy to shrug your shoulders and kick your neck on when you're holding up, some, holding up on something that's really tall. So I would advise against it. Um, just find the chair. <laughs> um, okay, so we're starting. We're going to use the chair as a bit of a brace because that's going to reflexively kick your abs on. And then we got the left foot on the block. We exhale, hike the left hip, slouch the left shoulder, and then turn the zipper to the left. And if you have all that together, you can try to make that right foot really light and you should feel a lot of quad and a lot of outer hip here supporting you. Stand on your left leg, right? Okay, so we got that. Then you're just gonna scoot that right foot out just a hair. You don't need to go very far because you're getting a lot of the right inner thigh inhibition that we're looking for just by standing on this left leg. So we're reaching through the inside of the right foot and we're showing off the bottom of the foot to the, to the wall over here and the outside of the leg, or outside of the foot is off the ground. So from here, I keep my hip hike, I keep my shoulder slouch, and then I just make sure my neck stays loosey-goosey while I repeat for five breaths. So I'm just gonna hold this position and take a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let that shoulder stay slouched. Pause for five seconds before you breathe back in. And if your left leg can tolerate it, you can try to scoot out that right foot. And you should feel some, oh yeah, there we go. You should feel some right glute outside hip here really kick on. So that is number one standing, supported, left stance, uh, right glute med. Second progression is really simple, very much the same. You're just gonna let go of the chair. 
So you're trying to do it just by holding your balance and opposing gravity only with your feet and hip muscles instead of using your hands here. You can still get some reflexive core activation by kind of bringing your elbows forward like you're doing a goblet squat or a front squat. I do like to do that for something like this. You can even go pretty serious and reach your hands away from you, um, but everything else is the same and I'll just walk through it for learning purposes. So left foot on the block, left hip up, left shoulder down, turn the zipper and then scoot. Don't hold on to that. Progression number two, don't hold on to that. And then scoot the right foot out. It can stay on the ground and it should stay on the ground here. Showing off the bottom side of the foot to the wall over here, I'm reaching through the inside of the foot. And now I have a lot of left quad, a lot of left outside hip, and then a lot of right outside hip. Yes, I said that all correctly. So that's number two. Number one, standing supported. Number two, standing unsupported. Number three now is where we actually get into the left hip hike. So we're gonna scoot the block over so that it's underneath the right foot now. And this just helps you have a little more range of motion on the exercise so you can feel what's going on. Uh, the, <laughs> the most complex part about this is you're kind of trying to do the same stuff. You're not gonna feel the left quad though because the left foot is hiked in the air. I still want that left hip up, left shoulder down, kind of like slinky side bend position, but I'm gonna get it all from the right glute. So you should feel a lot of right glute here and, and less on the left thigh. Um, so we got the block, right foot's on top. And then from here, I'm gonna stand up kind of tall, still using the chair for support, get some reflexive ab activity. And I'm gonna exhale, hike the left hip up. And I'm gonna exhale, slouch the left shoulder down. And I can even get a little bit of turn so that my zipper comes towards my midline. Kind of points to the left. And same thing here, we're just holding for breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Make sure you pause for five seconds before you breathe back in. You should feel the right outer hip, left inner thigh, and even left outer hip, because that's gonna help turn your uh, left leg in. If you don't feel it, try to turn your left toes in to point toward your right foot. Whew, that's intense, and I gotta show you another one, so I'm gonna rest. Um, I like to do five sets of five breaths for all of these. Um, with that one, try to get the foot turn. If you're not feeling what you're supposed to be feeling or if you're feeling a lot of right inner thigh, which I don't want, then first look at your neck and see if you can make it relax. Necks really mess these exercises up because you need a lot of torso side bending. And if your neck is really stiff, you can't side bend like that. So try to just shake it around a little bit, make sure everything goes loosey goosey. And you should feel a little side bend in your neck when you do the side bend in your torso, okay? So that was number three. Number one was the standing supported, left foot on the block, right foot out. Number two is standing unsupported, left foot on the block, right foot out. Number three, we moved the block over to the right foot, underneath the right foot, and then we did the left hip hike. You probably guessed it, but the fourth and final of this progression is standing unsupported for the left hip hike. Uh, so same thing, we're just not supporting your hands on the chair that I have here. So right foot goes on the block. Exhale. Hike, push through the inside of the right foot and hike the left hip up. Exhale and let the left shoulder slouch. And I tend to crunch over a little too much on this one. So make sure you stay nice and tall. You got nothing to hold on to here. You're trying to stay nice and tall. And then we're just gonna hold for breaths. 
as you try to navigate your balance, your foot's gonna kind of teeter-totter. As you get better at it, it'll feel more stable. Now again, trying to keep the left hip up, left shoulder down, neck relaxed. If you feel like you can't push through the inside of the foot, if you feel like you're losing your balance, or if you feel like you're shifting forward onto your toes, those are good indications that at this point, this exercise is too hard for you. It might just be, it might not be that you, you know, can't do it at all. It might just be that you're fatigued. Uh, but keep an eye on stuff like that. I say five sets of five breaths, but if you got to do five sets of two breaths, that's okay. Don't do extra breaths the wrong way because it's not really going to help you. <laughs> it's just going to take more time. Uh, good luck. Left hip hike progression.